I mean, I can give you several evidences if you want me to and go through all that. Well, considering that's what I asked for, that would be great. Okay. Well, uh, number one, the major so the Gospels were written because, it, for number one, the um, the destruction of the temple. We know that the, all, the, the Synoptic Gospels mention the destruction of the temple, and we know that was before 70 A.D. So do you, you agree with that? What, the, the destruction of the Jewish temple was before 70 A.D.? Yes. Uh, no, I mean, it was right around 70 A.D., uh, we know that Mark, that, that's one of the particular things, uh, uh, facets of Mark uh, that points to it being written after 70 AD. Right, but you, if they mention the destruction of the temple, doesn't it follow that these Gospels, these eyewitnesses, would be in that time frame? No. How so? Well, because... These people could be writing in the 70s about things they thought they knew that existed prior to that point. I mean, we I mean, there are authors out there that write historical fiction all the time. Are you appealing to anonymous authors? then? Because I, mean, I think that seems where you're going with they this. Are anonymous. All the Gospels are anonymous. Oh, None of them name their authors. And I would object to that. And there's okay. several there's several arguments I could give to uh, refute, refute that. And number one, the first and biggest, perhaps the biggest problem for the theory of anonymous go Gospels is there is no anonymous copies of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John have ever been found. And this is even a They're citation from Bad Pantry. It, sans the titles that were placed on them later on in time by like by no, most notably by Papias, um, all of them, none of them actually name their authors. It's not like these gospels came out and it was the gospel according to Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John. Like they weren't titled that way. They were just the gospel of Jesus. I think so, that's a straw man argument for number. So I'm gonna. It's not a straw man argument. How is it a straw man? So, argument? I mean, I'll explain that. So all four gospels are anonymous in the formal sense that the author's name does not appear in the text of the work itself, only in the title. But this does not mean that they were intentionally anonymous. Many ancient works were anonymous in the same formal sense, and the name may not even appear in the surviving title of the work. For example, this is true of Lucian's life of. Uh, the de the demonox or demonicatos bios, which is a bios, ancient biography. So there's an example right there that refutes that claim. Okay, the gospels were not titled. Did I don't know if you missed that part of what I just said. They did not have titles on them, so they were completely anonymous. Now, just mm. just to put this into in, into context here. That is the consensus of historical scholarship, even theistic historical scholars. So, and New Testament. So you're uh, appealing to the consensus oh, now. Hold on, hold on, I'm done talking. Uh, th so that's the consensus. So right now, m me going against the consensus for whether or not Jesus existed is the exact same position as you going against against the consensus that they are named. So. You, I, I'm wondering how how do you deal with that particular problem right there? I mean, you I obviously just, go I against the consensus one. on a number of different things. Lucian. So, like I said, yeah, in the formal sense that they're anonymous, anonymous, but that doesn't mean that it appears in the text of the work itself. It's only in the title. And um, I just said that they did not have titles. Right. But they, so, they didn't have titles. So they weren't named. Does they, it mean they, they were intentionally anonymous? Author. Many ancient works were anonymous in the same formal sense. And the name may not even appear in the surviving title of the work. An example is Lucian's Life of Demonics. You can check that out. Um, so there's a good example where there, we know Lucian is the, um, the author there. Okay. I don't I don't understand what we're talking about Lucian when we should be talking about the gospels because a lot of your arguments hinge on the idea that the gospels were written during the time of the eyewitnesses when they just simply weren't. 
Um, they, they were written much, much later when eyewitnesses would have been dying off if they could have even survived to the 70s A.D. And we know that it was the Gospel of Mark that was written first after 70 A.D. Then Matthew uh, was written in the 80s. And then Luke was written at least after 93. So that puts the Gospel of John in the second century. I mean, but there's still... I mean, it is the timeline. Right. So there's paradoxes with your anonymous theory, too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give another problem with this. Uh, is, is the utter implausibility that a book circulating around the Roman Empire without a tile for almost a hundred years could be somehow at the point be attributed to the exact same author by scribes through the whole world and yet leave no trace of disagreement in any manuscript. So um, I'd like to see you address that paradox. Wait, can you repeat that paradox? I'm not sure I yeah. understood it. So the second major problem with the theory of the anonymous Gospels is the utter implausibility that a book circulating around the Roman Empire without a title for almost a hundred years could somehow at some point be attributed to exactly the same author by scribes throughout the world and yet leave no trace of disagreement in any manuscripts. Um, okay, well, I, I don't understand why you think multiple people independently titled these works the, the way that they're titled. Um. So are you are you going now to the synoptic problem? Is this a, you, is this like you're just going like just going around like rabbit holes? I'm not. Are you, is that where you're going with this or not? Uh, well, I, I'd really appreciate it if you wouldn't like try to guess where I'm going and maybe just answer the question that I'm asking. Well, I mean, I, I'm trying to answer the question from what your point of view because I don't. I'm trying to gauge where you're coming from so I could give a valid answer. Okay, well, I'm just simply asking why, what evidence do you have that multiple independent people titled the Gospels the way that they're titled? Um, for Okay, so here's one example would be the work of Theophilus. The clear, so this is with Luke. I'm going to give an example of, of, a, of an independent case of an author. So the clearest case of Luke is because of the dedication of the work of Theophilus, Luke 1.3. Probably a patron. It's inconceivable that a work with the name Dedicati should have been anonymous. The author's name may have been featured in the original title, but in any case could have been known to the Dedicati and other first readers because the authors would have presented the book to the Dedicatee. So there's an example right there of independent uh, authorship. No, no. I mean, that, that's, that's not, that does not answer the question that I asked. How so? Well, like okay, so for instance, uh, we get the what we know of as like the God, like the the gospels that are titled Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John. Well, we know that they're titled uh, from Papias, and he's the first one to suggest that. Uh, these gospels were named in such a fashion and that the people that supposedly wrote them wrote them. Uh, so I'm wondering, uh, Papias said it, and I believe Papias was in like the, oh, what was it? Um, Papias was in the uh, early uh, second century. So can you give me an, a piece of evidence, a, a source that is prior prior to or congruent or, or, or at the same time of Papias that was not influenced by Papias that also titled these documents this way. So are you looking for a non-biblical source or can I use internal evidence to demonstrate that's the case? The, 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 the Gospels never name their authors. Uh, the thing that you brought up with Luke does not say that Luke wrote it. So I, I don't. I don't. I don't think it is the that case, you can though. cite anything within the Gospels that would give me the authorship, or, or like who authored it, who claimed to have authored it. Like I, I, that's just simply not there. So well, no, you're going to have to use somebody outside of the Gospels. Well, I just gave you a, 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 an example of Lucian that he didn't do it either, but yet historians and author. I mean, okay, um, I'm, I'm they too, attribute I, I'm that sorry, to I'm sorry, Lucian. I'm so sorry, Grace. I am not talking about Lucian. I'm not talking I'm you about an example, any other work. I am talking about the consistent. Gospels. Can you just That's give me one piece of evidence of somebody other than Papias in the early second century that You're was not talking my about evidence, these though. documents, giving, giving them internal evidence? Names. I gave you what? Luke one three as evidence of internal evidence. Luke was the I, is the original author, but no, also that's not, that's not evidence. I can Luke give you another one, and John, if you want me to, I can do that. But how is that not evidence, though? Based on what? 
because, and I'll say this for like the fourth or fifth time, none of the gospels name their authors within their own texts. So what? That's that's, that's what facts. the ancient that's works, that's facts. how they organize it. Huh? That's how they uh, organized their their works. That's that's the way they did things back three thousand or four thousand years ago, whatever it was. Okay, I'm not sure what time scale you're working on, but uh, we can move on from this point because uh, we're just going to go around in a circle, and I don't want to spend the entire time arguing about who authored the Gospels. Yeah. So I, but I, all I'm showing is there's internal evidence for the original authorship of of the Gospels. And I've given you yeah, evidence, but you're not accepting it for whatever reason.